Hey guys, welcome back. All right, off to Parch from Plenty. This is kind of a mini game. You're gonna find this very interesting once it really kicks in. So this first section, nothing to really worry about. It's just a big area. You get it from map coverage, but you'll notice that there is not a counter for it, so you'd waste your time. The main thing is, is we head out to the real desert. So here comes the fun. So you'll notice I have a water meter. That water meter counts down as I take steps. And then I forget, oh yeah, there you go. You press X once you stand on the water to get more. The main thing here is try not to run out of water, although all it does if you die is, um, or if you do, it's the same thing as basically getting squashed. You uh, just get teleported back to the beginning. The monsters out here are a pain in the ass, as I will demonstrate. See? That's the usual trick, right? It's more of the salamanders and that. Somehow that did not break my gauge. These aren't even the worst ones out here. Freaking chameleons. I hate them. They don't hold still. They go invisible. They could not have created a more annoying monster in this game. Okay. And the sad part is, is I've actually been using my skill points. And this is what I get for it. You will notice that just standing there does not save you either, so... The key thing to remember is always know where the water is and be sure to always fill it back up when you get to it. And try not to get stuck like that. Okay, let's see what we can see. A couple of chests to be had out here. It's a halfway decent idea to check out some of these. You never know what you're going to get. Like this one over here. And just remember to always go right back to the um, spring you came from. Just to recharge before you go moving on to the next one. Let's see if I can make this one here. These things are the ones you really don't like. They just look intimidating right off the bat, and believe me, they are. Okay, I think there's one straight out here now. And you'll know that you're screwed when you get to a chest and you're under 50. <laughs> and you gotta get back. You're not going to make it. Okay. Let's try this about this way and see what we get. And of course, these things always stick around the water. So, good luck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whew. Got away with one. Takes care of that. Rawr.
You usually definitely want to scan the area before you make your your next move. Just so you know where you're going. Let's see how good I am at this. Uh oh. That's not good. Maybe I can make this before I pass the hell out. Uh, flop. Let me say they just drop you back here. So it's not a big deal if you run out of water, it's not death by any means. So you can definitely take your time, explore. And actually, I think it kind of put me over right about where I was. Yeah, it did. Okay. So, that didn't go well. So you can at least, you know, trial and error it a little bit. I guess this would put me back at the beginning. It's just finding that next spring that's uh, tricky. It's like you know it's out there somewhere, but it's not out there. And this is going to bode badly. I got something for it. Oh, there it is over there. Behind that ugly ghost dragon thing that I just, uh... You really don't want a piece of those if you can avoid it. There's some guy out here. What's he got? Or want? And he's some treasure hunter of some sort. Okay. Are you charging? And charging! Getting her out of the way. Yes! Got rid of that annoying ass. I'm gonna be sad when this chain breaks. I put a lot of work into this one and I even realized it. 40. Alright. Ha, huh, walked right into a dead end. This one was nice and close. find the way through here, I promise. It definitely has been a while.
Looks like if I can get in the water. She just wasted both of them with Ice Coffin. There goes the gauge. I think I saw that coming about a mile away. I'm trying to get people to get away from my dead companions. up just in time for the experience. Ice Coffin. Probably the most aptly named freaking skill in the game. Annoying as I'll get out. Okay. Show. Figure out where the heck we're going. That's going to be a dead end. No. This is going to be a dead end. I think I'm right by where I need to be. These uh, ruined walls should be an indicator. Oh, right here. Durr. <laughs> Yay. So, we survived the desert, kind of, sort of. Um, I, I want to save this really quick just so I can show you guys why I usually skip those other things. But figure, hey, why not? I'll show you everything I can, at least. So now, fortified with the save. Let's see what these little fucking things are about. They don't seem so scared of them, but they do a lot of magic damage, which is what makes this set. Notice he just interrupts the living hell out of people. Ugly breath attacks. Ouch. Now imagine if you haven't been using your skill points. Okay, that wasn't as bad, but imagine two of them. No. <laughs> no, stupid chameleon. Alright guys, so yeah, on that note then, we will uh, prepare to go in here. This is yet another puzzle and slash maze, so um, expect more fun. Hopefully it won't be as bad as some of them. Anyway guys, I'll see you on the next run.